reviewing Mary's Twisted Kitchen in Dallas, Texas. What's up, Mary? What's happening, baby? I like this place. The vibes in here is on a thousand. I just hope the food matches the vibes in this motherfucker. We got a pork chop basket. Okay. So you get two fried pieces of pork chop, right? And I ain't gonna lie, they do season this pretty damn good. And it does have a little kick to it too. My only thing is, it is a little dry. But, it's pretty, it's pretty damn tasty. Ugh, it's a little salty too. Ooh, ooh, jalapeno. Ah! Mmm, I like that. Fries, fries are good. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the loaded fries. Ooh, come here. Ooh, come here, bitch. This is pressure. Loaded fries are like that. The loaded fries, from what I can see, shrimp, grilled onions, fries, of course, grilled chicken. We got a jalapeno on the side with some, with some what they call it, I'm assuming, the, the twisted sauce. And I ain't gonna lie to you, if I had to guess, Granny with the arm sack has something to do with this. Because there ain't no way this damn thing is seasoned all the way down to the bottom of the goddamn box. I know she back there somewhere. I know she is. The jalapeno. Ooh, yes. This is good. This is what we call the smash ball. Oh, hold on now. Is that the, is that the salmon in this bitch? Oh, yeah, that's the salmon. So we got the salmon, we got the shrimp, we got, looks like, what's this? What's this, lobster meat in this bitch? Mm. That's lobster bitch. Crawfish, maybe? Yep, that's crawfish. Soaked in this, in this ooey gooey sauce on top of a bed of noodles. Oh, it's half potatoes, half pasta. Everything about this for the most part, I mean, it is hidden for sure. I will say this, I can see this being a little bit too salty for some of you guys, and it's coming from this this beautifully cooked salmon too. And damn, it's good, but it's, it's salty. This is cookie pudding. I'm not even a pudding fan, and this right here really is knocking my socks off. The pudding is really thick, and the wafers are really softened too, which makes it really easy for some of you guys, or people like myself to eat. That's my leaf, I'm gonna top you off with some Kool-Aid. Mmm. There's pineapples in this bitch. The Kool-Aid, it's definitely important. Not really sure why you guys aren't talking about this restaurant as much as you are, but this restaurant definitely deserves a lot of recognition. So I'm gonna put the address right here. If you're ever in the Dallas, Texas area, it's in a rough area. I ain't gonna lie, it looks a little sketchy. But you might wanna check this place out.